students. In this video, we will study the process of nutrition and digestion. Okay, so nutrition is related to the uh, process of digestion in the higher animal. So if you study the food material of the paravision, then see the paravision shows the hollozoical type of the nutrition. Uh, now here the paravision feeds on the different types of bacteria, these are fragments of the plant material, then it also feeds on the phytoplankton, zooplankton. Uh, since all small size particles they are in the food material, and all of the material can be ingested by the paravision. Okay. Uh, like as it depends on both plants as well as animals for getting the food material, we call it as the omnivores. So the paramecium shows holozoic type of nutrition. Paramecium is omnivorous animal because it feeds on both the type of the food material, plant and animals. Okay. And see this paramecium, which is not made for the food material, that the bacteria comes to be hidden and made that bacteria. No. Actually, the paramecium actively hunt its prey. Okay, this is for the heart and the prey find out for the they capture for the and since we say that the paramecium is actively hunt in the food material. Okay. So if we just consider the process of nutrition, the process of nutrition is uh, just divided into five different types of the main uh, steps. The first step is known as the ingestion. Second step is known as digestion. Third step is known as absorption. Fourth one is known as assimilation. And last one is known as ejection. So, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, ejection. So, these are the five different types of the processes which integrate here in the process of nutrition. Means, whatever the energy is required for performing different types of activities to the paramecia. Uh, so, for performing those activity, energy is required, and the paramecia get the energy from the food materials. So, what happened? How they collect the food material? What happened with that food material? And how it is ingested? How it is get digested? So, everything which is used here, we call it as nutrition. Okay. So, initially, it starts with the first process that is ingestion. See, the ingestion is simply the intake of food material. So, intake of food material is what? For the time of the food, if you eat food, you can eat food. What do you mean? You can eat ingestion of the food, and you can eat food. Okay? You can eat food material and ingestion. So here also, the food is here ingested. Already at least it is the food that we counted at the process for the counted at the process of the formation of the food and it is less. How the food is ingested is less. How the food is ingested is less. How the food is ingested is less. And it moves in the endoplasm. We call that process as the cytosis. Once again, we are going to see all the two phases which are part of the process of ingestion. Because when the food material enters inside, inside this oral group, okay, so it is just similar to that of the mouth in case of higher animal. So when the food material enters in the oral group, which is uh, it is just come inside the oral group with the help of the cilia. The cilia which are present on the oral group, they move very fast or they beat very fast as compared with the individual other cilia which are present all over the body. So, back in the body, the cilia are tension. Oral group are just cilia fast movement when I love that. But after that, but after tension movement, so we call it as the beating movement of the cilia on the oral group is very fast as compared with the individual other cilia. Due to that, whatever vortex is produces. So, food channel is produced. Just a part of the food is produced. Just a part of the food is produced. Just a part of the food is produced. 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 The next part. The student from the student goes to the next part and the cytokine from cytokine is formed in the food and food cases. And food and food cases are the food and food cases. Now when the food enters actually in that particular path, 
the seniors are there because you see the seniors they are not selected from the full party men. They only selected the full party men which is of a proper size. So the selection of the food is dependent on the size of the food. The large size food material they are rejected by the senior itself. And we call that particular path as a rejection path. The food material mutha said that the reject yellow and the paper at Purul Mutra Bahan Pingler. The path has a good rejection path. Okay. And the Siriyas which are uh, shows the sweeping movement due to that the small size uh, food which enters in the next part and is called as the cycle of parents. So this path is known as a selection path. Selection are the right as a it is selected. Small side chasers, food particles, and the select cases of the selection path. Okay. So the two paths are there rejection path, selection path. Rejection path, they just throw the large size food material outside the body. And selection path, which select the small and proper size food material and allow that food material to enter inside the body. The oral food and material goes towards the next part that is known as the cytokines. From next cytokines, the formation of food vacuum is Again, the food vacuum may get detached. Now, the food vacuum which is small in the size. This food vacuum which shows a particular type of movement in the endoplasm. And due to the streaming movement of the endoplasm, food vacuum is also moved here and there inside the body of the parameter, but in a particular path only. Now, 
the uh, specific type of enzymes are required for the process of digestion. Means for converting the complex food material into simple form, different types of the enzymes are used. So, we have a type of enzyme that the uh, complex food material, apart from the conversion in the conversion simple form, we have a type of enzyme that the enzyme is used. But, if you have a type of enzyme, that food molecule secretes when it shows a specific type of the pH. Initially, the acidic pH is there and slowly at the end, the pH changes to alkaline. Some of the enzymes may remain active in the acidic condition, while some of the enzymes may remain uh, active within the alkaline situation. Okay, and since there is a change in the pH takes place, initially the acidic pH is there and after that the alkaline pH is there. Okay, so here how the uh, change in the pH, how why the change in the pH takes place and how it is uh, responsible for the formation of the digestion or uh, formation of the simple food material we will just take. Okay, so here when the uh, acidic situation is here, the acidic condition is here, the size of the food enter decreases. Okay, size of the food enter decreases and it possesses the food inside that material. So the specific enzymes which are remain active in this acidic situation. And after some time, when the material is get digested, the enzymes are counselor, if you have a lot the acidic condition is get converted into the alkaline condition. When the food vector increases in the size, okay, during the alkaline condition, the food vector which increase in the size. Here, uh, I will draw the structure, acidic condition, food vector decreases in the size, this smaller size. Alkaline condition, food vector increases in the size, the food vector is large in size. Okay, so like this way, the change in the pH takes place. Then what happened? Which type of enzymes may be active during acidic and which type of enzyme may be active during the alkaline condition? We will study it here in the next chart. Now in this chart, I will draw the G column. The first column is of the enzyme, then second column is of the complex food material, and third column is of simple food material. See here, with the help of those enzymes, okay, this complex food material is converted into simple food. But a complex food material is converted into simple food. How? Due to the action of the enzyme. Simple and it comes simple reaction at the same time. A plus B, it will give you C plus D. But what does it be complex food material? That's a simple way to food. But if you have a problem, you can use the enzyme. It will be done. Okay, and that's why the complex food material is being converted into simple form with the help of the enzyme. So, what you can see, the first enzyme is that we want to get the amylase enzyme. That amylase is responsible for converting the starch into sugars. Starch is a complex form, sugar is a simple form of the food. Here the second uh, enzyme is very important as the proteinase. So that proteinase is responsible for converting the protein into peptides. These two uh, enzymes, amylase and the proteinase, they remain active during the acidic situation. Okay? That situation that you are able to get to a smaller vessel. And the beginning other two, which two? See here the peptide is produces. So uh, peptides are produces. But actually they are not in total uh, simple food material. They are semi-digested food material. Okay. So those peptides again they are converted into more simple form of the third type of the enzyme that is known as the dark peptides which are or the peptides and the peptides they are being converted into amino acids. Peptide, and then peptide, and then peptide, and then peptide, and then 